You know, it's funny because I, I stopped playing with Karch in 1996. Uh, we won the gold medal in 1996. We had been dominating the tour for years, number one team. He actually had shoulder surgery, so he wasn't even going to get to play in the beginning. I, had to, I called Jose, and I said, you know, you and AJ are like the number two team, so you'd probably be the number one team, but I want to break you guys up, Yeah. and uh, I want to play with you because I think we'd be awesome. And he called me back. He goes, yeah, man, and we came out on fire. We were, we were crushing teams. I don't even know what the strategy would have been against you guys because watching old Jose film is insane. Strategy serve out. <laughs> that's, your, that's your best service because you don't get embarrassed. No, Jose was phenomenally good. First of all, again, the athletes now are taller, right? They shrunk the court, they yeah. changed the rules, right. shortened the games, bigger athletes. So he was good size. He had super long arms. He could jump so high. Mm-hmm. He would just hit the ball so hard. He was on. I I I I set him so bad on one play. It was like it was like fifteen foot line, like half like half court, like a half court. <laughs> Not even like a back row attack. He was like he had he was going backwards and he jumped up and he crushed the ball so freaking hard and all like down. It, it, your head would have spun. <laughs> uh, he was just phenomenal to play with. Really fun. Loved UFO. Thought UFOs were everywhere, which is kind of cool. So he was he was convinced. The UFOs were coming out anytime now. <laughs> he was just, he was the best. And then we had Mangus. <laughs> Jimmy Mangus was his coach. He was sleeping on the floor in between our beds in the hotel room. Amazing. Oh, oh God. God, it was great. Mangy. Hey, Mangy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mangy would be yelling at us at timeouts and we'd be laughing at him. Jose was- coached us for what, four years? Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, me and Trev and. Uh, he would always bring up stories about Mangus and be like yelling in, in that same voice, just like, face where you sat. <laughs> <laughs> I just have it like replaying in my head because Jose would do impressions of Jim Mangus. Like, every well, day. first, he gets, so, he gets so excited and he couldn't talk, he just starts spitting on us, which was always fun. <laughs> like, are you saying I should cut the ball or go line, right? And like, I only have two shots, yeah, so it's not really much you, you can tell me as a coach. I hit the angle and I shoot line. Don't tell anybody. Wait, I'm, my career is over. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Jose, right, Jose could go up, jump, and hit the ball over the block, kind of down in the back, and we would win every match. Like, Emmanuel Rego was the same way, too. He was awesome. He'd just look at you, and you just go, poof, or wherever you are. Other way. So, but Jose would get bored, right? He's like, hey, this is boring. I want to hit the ball straight down. So every once in a while, he'd get bored, and he hit the ball at the bottom of the net. Mm-hmm. we give up a point. <laughs> and, of course, the, everybody else knew what was going on. Jose's bored. And the one thing you don't want is a bored Brazilian. That's a, not a good thing. <laughs> Brazilians are super happy people. You do not want a bored Brazilian. So he hits the first ball in the bottom of the net every time, and the other team knows exactly what's going to happen. He's going to try to crank it as straight down as you can. And he hits it straight in the box, straight down. Now we just gave it up two points. So Mangus is over there yelling at him, screaming, hit the ball over the block. Like, don't hit it down. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, Mangus, will you please quiet, all right? Like, he's like, but Kent, he's, he's hitting the ball straight down. He's not. I go, really? I know that, all right? Like, we got to, like, don't you understand the problem? Mangus like, oh, okay, and, <laughs> and Jose's like, okay, but Kent, I want to hit the ball straight down. I want it to bounce really high. I want the cow to go crazy. Yeah. And I want to walk around. And that's going to make me feel good. I said, well, that's the problem, right? The problem isn't that Jose's hitting the ball in the bottom of the net or getting blocked. The problem is we have an unhappy Brazilian, and that's the problem. Mangus doesn't get it. So it's like trying to teach a, you know, what's the old farmer thing? Try, don't try to teach a pig to sing because it's a waste of time and it annoys the pig. All right? <laughs> so Mangus yelling at Jose to shoot the ball over the block is like trying to teach a pig to sing. It's just a waste of time, and it's annoying it's Jose. Yeah. And Jose, so, uh, so he's like, but Ken, he's hitting the ball in the block. I know. Like, we got a problem. I understand that. But the problem is not the hitting style of Jose. It's the happiness of the Brazilian, <laughs> which is the critical thing. So I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do, Jose. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to pass the, or set the ball towards the middle of the court. You're going to come running in and you're going to act like you're going to crank the ball. And you're going to, and the guy's going to drop it in your angle. And the moment he drops your angle, you turn line and you pound that thing as hard as you can. He goes, okay, okay. I'm like, good. Mangus, sit down and be quiet. And you're going to have a heart attack. And he's going to die. <laughs> and he's spitting everywhere. It's just horrible. So, so, so f- perfect. Jose passes me perfectly. Instead of set, serving him where I am or setting him where, he's, where I normally do, I set him way inside. He comes charging in. Guy drops an angle. He turns in. He pounds that ball straight down. And the ball goes straight up. And the crowd goes nuts. And he starts going around like, yeah. And he goes, now, Kent, I feel really good. <laughs> I said, that's really good. I go, no, I go, I can, hit I go can we hit the high line now? He goes, yes, yes. But if I get bored, can I 
go back to hitting the ball straight down again. I said, no problem, but just let us know first. We'll try, we'll try to figure a play out for you to do that. He goes, but Ken, you saw me hit the ball. Yeah, I saw you hit the ball. You saw it bounce. And you, I saw it bounce. And did you hear the crowd, Ken? I heard the crowd, Jose. Do you see how happy I am? I see how happy you are. And we would win every tournament when he was happy. Every tournament. Oh, 